The 2012 Sanders Speaker Series brought Jerry Greenfield of Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream to speak on campus at Indiana University Southeast. Greenfield's message blended business with social and economic responsibility. We decided to redefine the bottom line to have a two-part bottom line at Ben & Jerry's so that we would measure our success not just on how much money we made, but how much are we able to improve the quality of life in the communities where we operate. We spoke with a few IU Southeast students on what they thought of the event. I thought it was great. It was interesting to hear this uh, different philosophy on business that he had. I think it was very intriguing and he brought up a lot of points. I'm a psychology major and he almost convinced me to turn to business. <laughs> I've got an interest in entrepreneurship as well. So whenever there's an opportunity to see somebody that's been there, I just, yeah, just, you know, kind of interesting to see what the founders of my favorite ice cream thought about business. We also caught up with top business professors from IU Southeast on what they thought their students could learn from this event. I think the number one thing would just be to, to think outside the box a little bit, to think about business, uh, at least to consider whether they're going to do different things rather than just strict profit maximization and to, to at least wrestle with can they merge these different goals like, he, the, like they've done so well. A little easier said than done, but at least to, to wrestle with that. To give our students a chance to hear from them directly, not just from a textbook. Uh, they've chosen an exceptional assortment of speakers over the last three years with very different but equally important messages. So it's a, a tremendous service that the Sanders have done for us. How can we integrate social and environmental concerns into our normal day-to-day -day business activities? The solution to that dilemma is to choose those courses of action that have a positive impact on both of those bottom lines, making money, giving back. We've found that this, this way of operating, this way of doing business, provides uh, so much benefit for the company. The message was not strictly business. During the Q&A session, Greenfield touched on what makes his ice cream so special. Ben always wanted these big chunks and would insist that that's what everybody else wanted. Uh, I used to make the ice cream, and it's really hard to make ice cream with big chunks, which is why nobody does it, and I would insist that everybody wanted a lot of smaller chunks. And uh, we compromised by putting in a lot of big chunks. <laughs> I mean, most new flavors at Ben & Jerry's don't work. They, they never see the light of day. They never get out of the lab. Uh, you guys know the expression, many are called, few are chosen. We have many are cold, few are frozen. <laughs> Thanks very much. Let's go eat. Thank you. We had to know, which flavor of Ben & Jerry's does IU Southeast love the most? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah. Same. I'm probably about to taste my favorite. Uh, tonight was the first night I've ever had Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And I had the chocolate brownie. It was terrific. I'd have to say fish feet. Um, chocolate chip cookie dough before this, but... Uh, no, this one. We would like to thank the Sanders and Jerry Greenfield for making this event possible.